Hey, welcome to Dishing with Debbie. And since we're close to Halloween, I thought it would be fun to make this easy treat that'll be a knockout at all of your parties. It's great for the kids and the big trick-or-treaters as well. So to make these witches hats for your next party, so simple, just a few ingredients. Easy to, well, sort of easy to find. I'll explain that in a minute. Bugles corn chips, um, some fudge stripe cookies, because that's gonna be the base of our hat. Just some morsels, chocolate chips, and some little icing writer pens so you can put the hat band on the hat. Now we're gonna start just by putting some of the chocolate chips in a bowl, throwing it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. We'll see where we're at. We'll stir it up, see if we need to melt some more, and then we'll start dipping and making. Okay, we just took the chocolate chips out of the microwave from melting, and caution, the bowl is very hot, so be careful, I've burned myself several times. But I did it 45 seconds, it wasn't quite enough, put it back in for about 15, and then stir it really well. Uh, don't overdo it because it'll burn the chocolate, you'll have to start over. But this looks pretty good. So I've got all of my bugle chips out here. I went ahead and put some wax paper underneath a grid so I can put these on in case they drip down. These are just the fudge stripe cookies with that and want the solid for the base. Then you might need the help of a spoon. Just gonna kind of coat, and this is a messy job, but it's fun. You know, we've made thousands of these, I feel like, and they always go pretty quickly. Everybody loves that combo of the salty and sweet. Then I take a little bit of the melted chocolate just to kind of make a a glue for the um, hat to sit on and then you're gonna let it set up and then after it sets up you're gonna take your icing and make a little hat band around the bottom for the witch's hat and the bugles a little challenge to find my regular grocery store that I shop at all the time typically does not have them you can find them sometimes at Walmart or my husband went to the gas station convenience store last night and bought these. So they're always available somewhere. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep on doing these, let them set up, and then I'll show you how we decorate them at the end. Okay, we've let our witch's hat set up. It's been about 30 minutes. That's probably the minimum time that you need to wait before they're easy to handle and they don't fall apart. You could wait even longer, it might even be better. These are just these little Wilton icing riders. They come in a variety of colors. I'm gonna use those to put the little buckles on the witch's hats. I've done them with a hat band around. It's a lot of work, you know, I just, I go for the easy thing, so. And they can be messy because they're supposed to look kind of spooky and scary. See, that broke, but. Sometimes when the icing first comes out, it's a little squirrely. So that's a little spooky looking right there. You can do a different color. Let's do a yellow. Let's see how this goes. See, there you go. Looks like a little witch's hat with a buckle. We'll do one more. Let's do, let's do green. Easy. The kids are going to love them. The adults are going to love them. So much fun. Surf these at your next Halloween party. It's going to be a hit.